Tonight, a Tyler County man remains in the ICU at the hospital fighting for his life. He was behind the wheel of a church bus that crashed last week in Warren. One person was on board and they died. 12 News reporter Jordan James spoke with the man's wife. I know that without our faith in God, I don't know how we get through this situation. Audrey Craig and her family are praying for a miracle. Her husband Robert was driving the church bus that crashed last week in Tyler County. Craig's friend and fellow church member, 42 year old James Kraft Jr. of Woodville died at the scene. Just don't ever expect it to be your family member that's involved in something like that. Robert is the youth pastor of First Warren Baptist Church. When he's not teaching the gospel, He's the bus driver on Sundays and Wednesdays. He just totally dedicates himself to serving others and making sure other people's needs are met. Robert was taking the kids to church for Bible study when a car pulled out in front of them. He swerved, lost control, and crashed into a tree. It seems unreal, almost like it's a dream. Robert ended up with broken ribs, broken lower extremities, and lung contusions. It's going to take him quite some time to recover, but I know with God's healing hand, he's going to make it through. In a statement at 12 News, the pastor of First Baptist Church, David Mafoots, said in part, we are praying that he makes a full recovery from this accident. <laughs> Audrey says her faith gives her confidence that her husband will recover and return to serving others. Yeah, there's nothing that would keep him away from that. No matter, even if it's something as extreme as this, he's going to go right back to doing what he was before. In Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News. A GoFundMe account has been set up for Craig, and you can get more information on that over on our website, 12newsnow.com.